If you are working from home, you've probably noticed your phone service and Wi-Fi feel like they're slowing down a bit, right? Oh, that's uh, for sure. Arizona's family trying to help with those Wi-Fi headaches. So three on your side, Susan Campbell joining us with some expert advice on how to speed things up. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, guys. This is happening at my house to make this all happen. I have two phones, a laptop. My husband has a couple phones for work. And I know we're not alone. We're absolutely overloading our system. Other families across the valley are also working from home, kiddos doing schoolwork, and of course, a lot of extra streaming with a lot of extra time we have. According to CenturyLink, if you're going wireless with the devices in your home, you're probably looking at a 15 to 40% increase in your data usage. That can lead to slower connection times, dropped video calls, and lagging download speeds. So we checked in with Ken Colburn from Data Doctors. He says there are a couple important things to keep in mind if you want to keep your speeds up. Just remember the rule that wired is always better than wireless. So if you can physically connect through what's called an ethernet cable to your router, that eliminates a point of failure and it eliminates any congestion that might be going on with all the wireless devices in your home. When you do have to connect through wireless, you'll, you'll notice there's a 2.4 and a 5G five gigahertz option. Technically speaking, the five gigahertz option is faster, but it's only faster for uh, exchanges between computers on the same network, not for the internet. 2.4 actually has a better chance of getting through obstructions. It'll go farther um, because it's a uh, lower frequency. The placement of your router will also make a difference. Colburn says, keep it away from anything that's metal because that could be an obstruction. And CenturyLink suggests putting your router in the area of the home where you're using the most wireless. Well, as people work from home, go to school from home, stream more shows and movies than usual, lots of people are finding out that they might be overloading their wireless routers. So three in your sides, Susan Campbell is here with some advice on how to make your Wi-Fi connection even faster. And I know Susan Ozark is out on Netflix right now, so even more people are going to be streaming this weekend. Oh, I know, right? You gotta, you have a good excuse to binge a little bit extra even this weekend. So first things first, you want to make sure your wireless is secure. If it's not password protected, you could actually be sharing your Wi-Fi and your bandwidth with your neighbors without even realizing it. But even secure networks, families are probably looking at a 15 to 40 percent increase in data usage right now during the social distancing period. That can lead to slower connection times, drop video calls, and lagging download speeds. We checked in with Ken Colburn from Data Doctors. He says there's one thing you can do right away if your internet is lagging, but you have to keep all of your devices going at the same time. The whole world is bombarding Netflix and you know, Amazon Prime, YouTube, all these things. By going to lower resolution streams, you probably got a better chance of getting a consistent video stream. Um, and to make it a little easier on those lower resolutions, go to a smaller screen. Colburn also says, if you can, plug in. He says, using an Ethernet cable to plug in directly to your router is the best bet to keep a good connection. For Wi-Fi connections, where you put your router is also going to make a difference. CenturyLink says, you should put it in the room where you're using Wi-Fi the most. That's going to cut down on obstructions and give you just a little bit better of a signal.